Tuka, sir. Hi. Pleasure to have you here. My pleasure. I'm going to say amongst the dragons, I'm going to call you the wild card. Would you agree with that? I'd say I'm a little bit wild card. If ever there's anything uh, physical to be done in the den, you tend to be the first up out of your seat. I know all about these garments, inside out. Let the expert have a look. Wow, hey, oh, poor kid, look at you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to bed. Whoa! <laughs> what happened there? You broke the bed. Yeah. Oh, sorry. You've set up a number of very, very successful businesses. Mm. You are a very successful businessman. You are happy to appear to be a figure of fun in some way. That must work for you somehow. Uh, does it make people underestimate you, maybe? Um, I think what it does, it makes people feel that I'm a real person. Mm -hmm. I'm at their level and it's easy to communicate with me. And is it also that you really enjoy the process of being in the den? It looks like you do. Well, I'm there. I might as well have fun with it. Yeah. I'm, I'm giving away my money. So on that basis, let, let's, let's make the most of it. Hoping Tuka Suleiman was entertained by his product and didn't break it was this sharp-suited and well-booted entrepreneur. Next up to Night Dragons, from his home in Tunbridge Wells, Jana Veli. Hello, everyone. Liquidproof produces advanced nanotech coatings for almost any surface. We're best known for our innovative and award-winning footwear protection. My first impression of Jana as he walked through the lift door, he looked like a clean-cut, credible young man. His pitch was amazing. Let me show you how amazing it is. Shoe under the tap. Pour cola over it. Put tomato sauce over it. And the grand finale. Together, we can make liquor proof. A household name. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's brilliant. <laughs> it was real theatre. I loved it. <laughs> The young entrepreneur wanted £100,000 of Dragon Cash and was only offering 5% of his business in return. That valued his business at, well, you do the maths, but a lot. I realised it's a common problem that Jana had just solved. After that demonstration, I had that tingle inside me and I wanted him to be good. Jana Valley, is that right? Merhaba. Merhaba. Are you Turkish? Yeah, my, my father's Turkish Cypriot. Turkish Cypriot? Yeah. Oh, I'm Turkish Cypriot. Jana and Tuka had bonded in Turkish, but it takes more than that to prize the cash out of a dragon, otherwise we'd all be doing it. Now the Fashion Supremo wanted substantial proof of the waterproofing substance's substance. Yeah, oh, might have been easier to have said that in Turkish. What patent do you have? Well, I've partnered with the, the R&D lab that uh, owns the patent to this, so I, I have sole exclusive rights. So this is not your technology. What happens if tomorrow they take this and go to somebody else that's going to really take it worldwide? Unless you've got the IP, everyone's just going to sit here and rip you apart. Have you got your contract here? So who would like to have a look at this first? Without owning the intellectual property on the product, Jana had to put all his faith in his licensing agreement. But surely that would be watertight. I mean, you wouldn't give it to the dragons if it wasn't, would you? It's not a licensing agreement. It's, it's a distribution agreement, really, that's giving you distribution in certain territories. Jana's contract was just gibberish. Did, did, did a lawyer write this? I put the majority of that together, personally. OK. And I had it so, sort of glanced over by a family friend who doesn't, that, that, that's not their expertise. If you're going to ask for a two million valuation, spend a couple of grand on your contract. Lawyers exist for a reason. This is the only thing that you have. It's the only thing. I've read a lot, a lot of legal documents and I can sniff something bad when I, when I, when I see one. This isn't a business. Um, next time you do this, do it properly. I'm afraid I'm out. So Nick made his position abundantly clear. 
But dragons aren't sheep. I'm sure the others wouldn't be influenced by him. I'm going to say that I'm out. I'm out. You don't really have a business. I'm out. When all the other dragons were out, I realised I was the conductor and had the floor to myself. I sell a lot of shirts yeah. to a lot of people in, in this country and worldwide. Suits, the same. Have you ever worked out what it would cost to have this coated on a metre of fabric? Yes. What? Would work at about four pence. Four pence? Yeah. I found my moment to make my move. I'm going to make you an offer. I like the brand. I like Jana. But I also realised there's a lot of work to do. I'll give you all the money for 50%, but it has to be subject to sorting the contract out properly so that we're all secured. 50% was me weighing up the amount of risk that I was taking. And I think it was made it worthwhile. I think Jana probably realised that he didn't have that much to bargain with. Actually, what he really had was some enthusiasm and probably an ag a distribution agreement. But would Jana be willing to give away 50% of his company, 10 times his original offer? Let's do this. Great. OK, great. Am I worth 50%? Of course I'm worth 50%. That's a lot of Tuka time. Well, it's a year and a half in normal non-Tuka time since Jana and his new business partner shook hands in the den. But the reality of the business world is that in the cold, cruel light of day, due diligence can see deals fall through. Remember, Tuka said he would only sign on the dotted line if the contract got sorted. Hey, Jana. Hi. How are you doing? Very, very nice Good to see meet you. you. Jana has opened a shop where customers can get their clothes waterproofed, hang out with like-minded entrepreneurial types, and, it seems, park their motorbikes in the middle of the carpet. This is essentially like a teenage boy's perfect office. But is this just kid stuff, or is Jana playing with the grown-ups now? And is Tuka actually involved? So this is the glamorous shop front. But where's the bustling corporate headquarters? Ah, let me take you through the secret door. A secret door? Ah, oh, come through. This place gets better and better. Jana. Oh, dude, look at that. Now, the last we saw at the end of the den, I think Tuka wanted to invest, but he's saying, oh, I don't know about the contracts and stuff. But look, you have an office. There's people here. There's people everywhere. So ah. something went right. So can you tell us, are you and Tuka in business? We are. You are? That's yeah. good news. We, we got there eventually. So Excellent. I, I didn't realise how long the due diligence would have taken, but I went off straight away, got yeah. the contract sorted, got that tightened up, the yeah. agreement, and I was conscious that I had to provide value, deliver on yeah. what I said in the den. And what are the big plans now? OK, so we're working to integrate the technology into the manufacturing process of various garments of clothing, shirts, So you suits. get shirts that are already yes, liquid-proofed? that's it. It's clever. Ah, well, that's good. what you talked about in the den, right? That's where you could see dollar signs in Tuka's eyes. Yeah. I am delighted to be in business with Jana. He is an entrepreneur to heart. We're not competitive. I just set the bar for him so he can see where he's going. I'm very confident in Jana, and I'm very confident in the future of the business.